everybody, Dizzy Crafter here with another haul. This haul has come from Craft Stash because they sent me a code to have 20% off so I had to get some good deals with things I've been looking at. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first things you can see are these Distress ink pads. Um, I actually wanted to complete the sets I didn't have while they had the 20% off. And this one is set 17, so this is the brand new one. And it's got Salvage Patina, Prize Ribbon, Villainous, Villainous Potion and Saltwater Taffy. Then we've got set 13, which has got Cracked Pistachio, Abandoned Coral, Mermaid Lagoon and Fossiled Amber. Then we've got a fifth set 15 which has got Wilted Violet, Carved Pumpkin, Lucky Clover and Candied Apple. Then the next one we've got is set 11. This was one that was missing within my order last time because it they didn't uh, have it in stock so I'm glad to get this one now and it's the Shabby Shutters, Festive Berries, Tea Dye and Milled Lavender. And I think this is probably the last ones of them all of these sets and this one is set 9 and it's Stormy Sky, Frayed Burlap, Dried Marigold and Forest Moss and then I got the two well, it's not two new colours, the same colour, but the new one in Enchanted Mer Merina. I can't even say it, but you can see what I mean. Uh, and I got the Distress Oxide and the Distress Ink. You can see loose pens. Let's have a look. All right. So I got some Jelly Roll Bright White in a medium. And this pack of three. And I just got another souffle one in the white. And then I got this rubber and a brush on it. And this is the Fabro Castell one. And then I got the Alcohol Hinks um, tool sets, which has got the three brushes and a mini mister in. Then we've got this craft pen storage case. I actually thought it was black. I'm a bit disappointed it's blue to be honest, but yeah, I hope it really is only a matter of storing my pens in there. So I've got that to store my fine liners in there. And then we've got some Royal and Langnickel um, paint brushes. Um, and this is the gold Tate Taclon set. And this is for watercolour, acrylic, and tempera. And this is set of 10. And then I got another set and this is for acrylic and oil and this one is the Bristol Bristol so solely them the foreign languages ignore me. So yeah, so that's that set. And again this 10 brushes in them. Then I got the Lyra art pens. Let's open this up. I got this lovely sleeve here. And then it comes in the pens, in a tree, sorry. And then these are the pens. And I shall get a bright colour out and show you the nib on them. A little camera focus. And that's the nib on these ones. And they're the high quality art pens. Then I got these Pigma Micron Fine Liners. Um, we've got 08, 05, 04, 03, 02, 01, 005 and 003. I have actually got the Spectrum Noir ones, um, but they seem to stop working every time I was putting them on, uh, writing over gesso and stuff. I don't know what I was doing wrong. Um, I could get it back a little bit by Lynette Jasper, who, uh, who's pretty gets gritty. She gave me some hints and tips, but it still wasn't coming back as dark as they was. So I thought, well, I'll try this brand and hopefully these can go over the gesso. And then we've got these mini distress tins to put the mini ink pads in, because this is the way I like to store them. And we've got two more boxes. Open this one up. So 
So this was the biggest buy again. Uh, it was the Polychromos colour pencils and it's the 120 set. And it comes in this tin and I'll just take this film up here. Now, I, before buying these, I did actually want the Prisma colour ones, but in the UK I was really struggling to find them. Um, and the import duties and stuff was just so expensive to get. So this was the next best thing. I know they're different pencils, but I really wanted some uh, decent pencils. So this is what I've gone with. And it just looks absolutely beautiful. I've done lots of research on YouTube and a lot of people love these pencils. So we've got a few trays, so that's tray one, just look at that rainbow. And then we've got tray two. And then we've got tray three, and I think that's it. Yeah, so there's tray three. I really like this elastication um, thing to be able to lift the tray out with so much easier than the thumb grips, especially when I've got my nails on that would not be able to clap them. Um, to get them out sorry and um, so yeah so I really really like these I do feel like I'm going to buy a nice pencil case to store them in rather than the tray just because I just feel like it'd be easier to use so keep an eye out on me using those on my channel and learning with them because I am a complete beginner when it comes to pencils and these actually I should say these was should be 270 pounds but then they've been reduced to 200 pounds but with the 20 percent discount and then my 10 percent discount because i'm a craft world mem premier premier premium member these come up to 140 pounds so it's like half near enough half price what they should be so absolute bargain in my opinion and then the next set is the I'm not even going to try and say that, but the watercolour pencils. Now there is different watercolour pencils from Fabrel Castell, for Faber Castell, how we pronounce it. Um, but I went with the dearer ones, just thinking, well, they've got to be surely like the better quality. So that's the way my mind works. So I wanted the better quality ones. If I'm going to spend a lot of money. Um, I'm going to may as well get the best rather than buying cheap, buying twice type of thing which you would have seen on my um, other hauls. I have bought some cheaper ones and they've worked fine but I'm guessing these are going to work so much nicer. Um, and again, this was on offer. It should have been 270, reduced to two and then I got them for just over 140 pounds. So that's what these pencils look like. I think these ones are slightly different to actually shape. I think these ones are round, yes I'm right, so I'll just get one out and we can show you. So the watercolour ones are like a hexagon or octagon, I'm guessing hexagon, but the polychromos are round, so that's really good if you were storing them together then you'd know exactly what was on them. Um, and it does say like this writing here is in gold and on the watercolours it's in silver it says blue violet and this one's blue violet as well so these are the exact same colours so they'll match every colour in here I will have in the polychromos so it's a really really cool way to be able to have the two to mix and match them so I'll just bob them ones back so these trays are just going to be the same again it's going to be three trays again so there's tray one it's tray two and tray, tray three so that's my haul guys I hope you enjoyed it it was an expensive haul this time much more than uh, I've had recently um, but I am so happy to finally get some professional quality pencils in my stash and I don't think I'll be buying much more now because I've literally got not much room left and um, so it will just be odds and sods so hopefully on this channel maybe I can start to do some uh, projects with you I mean I have done a few projects sharing what I've been making and stuff so I probably won't be able to upload twice a week because I do try to upload on a Saturday and a Wednesday at 8pm UK time um, 
but obviously the projects take a lot longer to do and film and stuff than hauls I mean there still will be hauls just won't be that as many as they have been I don't think but then again I know what I'm like I see a bargain I can't leave it alone so anyway I've rabbited on way too much in this um, video so without further ado I just want to say thank you for watching and I'd love to hear from you if you could comment and give me a thumbs up and subscribe I would be very very appreciative and I shall see you in the next video bye